sixth in the country this week by the AP. That's the highest ranking ever for the Oregon Ducks, getting into some pretty high territory there. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first quarter now as we get into this ball game. And I'm telling you what, there was a huge storm before this game underway in Pullman, a snowstorm and uh, the snow plow out doing the job before the game, clearing off the ice and the snow. The Ducks though warming themselves up before the game and when they get onto the field, they don't waste any time. Tucker, Howry, way out to the left, Morris in the backfield, here's first down. Back to throw the ball right away, they want to go deep, going for Tucker, he's down there, he's got it, pulled out from behind, inside the 20-yard line. First play from... We talked about if we got good field position, we wanted to go deep early. Great job, play fake here. Joey puts it right on Marshawn, who had a couple steps on the DB, and uh, great execution. Great start for the Ducks in scoring position right off the bat. Now trying to punch it into the end zone. They're going to try it on the ground first of all. Maurice Morris trying to get some tough yards, and not much going against the Cougar defense here early, so it's time to go to the air on third and 14. A little screen pass to Morris, and Coach, talk about this one. Well, it's a nice job. Again, we're play faking right onside, go back to that side. You've got great block down the field from the two linemen there. Cuts back. Not a great spot. We come just a little bit short, so it sets up a huge play. A yard at the eight, out of the eye formation. Joey, turn and give it to a pitch to Maurice. Going left, can he score? Five, three, two, touchdown. Maurice Morris. They get the first down and more. The great thing about this call is fourth and one defensive mindset is plug inside. We did great play fake there. Uh, send Maurice the opposite way. Joey makes the great toss. Great blocking downfield by Marshawn Tucker. He gets in the corner of the end zone. Works just about every time, doesn't it? Just a couple of times have been stopped all year, so Oregon up 7-0. Washington State comes right back, though. Jason Gesser going to scramble right off the bat for eight yards. Michael Collier with the stop. One of his 11 tackles on the day. And then coach the trick play. I know you practiced because they ran it last week, too. They're, they're four for four on this. Their they're guys have done a great job. This was a poorly thrown ball that their guy came back for, and that's the toughest thing to cover defensively. And then we miss a couple tackles, and they have, they're in scoring position. So the Cougars down to the Oregon three-yard line, just like that, looking to answer. And it's Adam Hawkins, kid from Pendleton, Oregon. Gets into the end zone, and it's 7-7. Seven, seven. Looks like a shootout. Coach, did you think that? Well, no, we hoped it wouldn't be. I know Washington State wanted it to be. They wanted to get some confidence early, which they did. Back to the ground when Oregon takes the uh, ball after the kickoff. Morris for 11 yards on the play. Good tough running up the middle. And then Joey Harrington going to go back to throw on this play to Marshawn Tucker for four yards. Yeah, a little quick screen on the outside. Nice job of ducking back underneath, getting some tough yards. So third and seven for the Ducks, and as Coach said before, tough on third down. On Saturday, Harrington to throw incomplete to Willis. Tight coverage. Tight coverage. A couple times I, I really felt that there was probably pass interference, and again, we didn't get those calls, and you have to make your own breaks. So the Cougars back with the ball. Minich inside for four yards, and the, they were set they were going to run the ball in this game. Well, they were trying to. We did a great job, really, for the most part. They got a couple second effort plays, but we did a good job of tackling. And Garrett Sable, nice open field tackle there. So the Ducks going to get it back on the punt, and that means the ball back at Keenan Howery's hands. Again, I'll explain in a moment. Away, Howery with a chance to return. He's got it this time to the 40. Try to get it outside. Nice block, 50, 45. Needs a couple of guys downfield. He ran right into the back of his own man and goes down at the 32-yard line. Oh, my. He's gonna get... Great job by our wing people on the outside to give Keenan a chance to get started. He does a nice job after that. I'm not sure what he's doing with the football there other than just throwing it up for the fans. But unfortunately, Ken, he gets tackled by our own man. And I don't think it's our blocker's fault. I think Keenan just didn't see where this guy was coming from. But great return. Unfortunately, after the great return, the Ducks do not capitalize. The next play, Harrington throwing over the middle. This is uh, something Joey doesn't do very often. No, and this is a poor throw. Threw back across his body, had his initial receiver, couldn't see him. And just a bad choice and bad throw. And he knew that. Cougars go three and out, though, after the interception. So do the Ducks, though. So Washington State gets it back, and Gasser going to go to the air and look for Milton Wynn. Only two completions on the day for Gasser, but this one a big one. Down to the 23-yard line. Now time to go to the ground, and it's going to be Burnett. The loss of one. And that run defense playing big right here. Great job. Just a, a lot of people coming through there. Uh, Ryan Mitchell in on the tackle. Forced the field goal attempt. 
So will Eichel on for the field goal try. He walked on at Oregon once upon a time, and he hits from 41 yards. The Cougars go up 10 to 7. Oregon now back on O, kind of having a hard time getting it going. Virtually nothing since the first drive. Incomplete here to Howard. Yeah, and actually, Joey had a chance to make that throw. It's uh, harried in the pocket a little bit. And just a protection early on was sort of hit and miss. Now, here's the punt, and check out the wind. Ball looks like it's going to go forever and then just straight down. The wind blowing like crazy out there. Yeah, it was gusting up to 30 miles an hour. It's really frequent. You know, you just never knew what it's going to do. So the Cougars back to work. Minnick for three tough yards. Game tackling there at the middle. And then the Cougars try to go to the air and test for shot. And their own 40 yard line. Gester to throw again. Quick for allowed. It is intercepted. Rashad Bowman's going to score. He's at the 10 5. Touchdown. Rashad Bowman, Oregon, is back on top. What did he jump that? Well, Rashad knew that they were audibling and sort of guessed, saw that the, develop, the play develop. Broke on it, did a great job, nice hands, great catch. He toughed it out, and he was hurt a lot of the week, did not practice. He was actually in great coverage the other play on the long pass down the field, but great catch by them. He makes up for it right here. And that's the way the quarter ends. The extra point on that touchdown was blocked, so it's 13-10 after one. And, Coach, at this point, you must be pretty pleased because offensively, you had the one drive, and that was it, but you still have the lead. Well, I'm, I'm happy to be in the lead. I'm not feeling very good about the way we're moving the football, and certainly third down conversions. You, you never know it, but you just know you're not getting it done the way you should. We were fortunate at that point, but I was pleased, obviously, to be in the lead. Once again, the Ducks with the three-point lead as we take this one, and uh, this is what it did three hours before the game. <laughs> Four three hours, and then this has happened during the game, so it gives you an idea of how miserable it was out there. Very cold. Washington start, State starts with the ball. Zach Frater with the stop, and the Cougs forced to punt this time. This time, though, they've got the wind at their backs. Good snap. Rush comes. Punt very old. What a punt. Awfully cow. Into the wind. It goes long. 26-yard line. Picked up there. Howie trying to get outside. Going to be tough. Turn the corner. 30. Still on his feet. Down the sideline. 40. Got a block. 50. Dives over the top of the 38-39 yard line right there. And it is Cox who has to make Great job by Keenan Howie again and our return team. Good choices there to lay off and not block in the back. Great block coming up right here. As you'll see, boom, takes out two people. And then he tiptoes that sideline, does a great job of turning it up right there. Unfortunately, we just missed the, the punter. Uh, didn't turn around in time to see him, and he makes a tackle. I should say now the Ducks with the wind at their backs, and Osborne fired up, as he usually is. <laughs> Always fired up. Always fired up. All right, Maurice Morris back to the ground. Seven tough yards right up the middle. And then going to go back to Maurice. Only a gain of one this time. The drive will stop right there, but because of the big return and field goal range for Josh Frankel. And here's the snap. Good placement. Good. The kick is up. Plenty long enough. And he drilled it. He drilled it. And look at the crowd of Oregon fans. Obviously, wind at his back, but he did a great job. And a little bit of work in the last week, I think, really paid dividends. A very confident, kicked the ball very well. Ducks up 16-10. Time for Saul Patu to get on track. Oh, Runs into problems and goes down. Back at the 18, but a penalty flag down, and hopefully it's not a face mask. And Gesser is down. Well, hopefully it's a hold and not a face mask. Great job by Saul coming off the edge. Beats the block, gets held on the play. They run a play fake. Uh, Jason Gesser, nowhere to go. Saul traps him right there. Unfortunately, unbeknownst to us at the time, uh, broke his leg in, during that play. And it's hard to see how that could have happened. Just a, a freak accident. But great play by Saul, unfortunate for Jason Gesser. So on comes the backup, Matt Kegel, and he played pretty well. Goes to the air right off the bat. Marcus Williams tips it to himself. Gain of 11 right there. But then the duck run defense stepping up big. Minnick trying it up the middle, and there's Saul again. Saul does a great job there. I'll just tell you, he takes on that block, drives it back down, and, and stops the hole, fills it with his own body. Then Burnett, still nothing. Good defense by the Duck defensive line. Cougars have to give it back. Back to Maurice Morris, who gets around the outside and just about broke one. Yeah, he's got that speed. Did a great job of setting that up. Started inside and then bounced to the outside when the containment uh, closed down. Great job, great speed. 48 yards on the day for Morris. He closes in on 1,000 for the season. No gain on this play to the 35. So here we go with another third down. Harrington is back to throw under pressure. Oregon, again, coach, just one of 16 on third down. Rarely do you win a game with that number. No, that's true. And I'll tell you, there's a great block on that play by Josh Lane, but we didn't hold up a couple, a couple other places. 
Washington State gets it back. Minnick, plus one. 21 yards and out of bounds, down to the 23-yard line of Oregon. And Kegel going to go to the air. And this is a great play by Garrett Sable. Got a piece of that. We almost picked this off. Just can't quite hold on the ball. Great job by Garrett, though. So it brings up a big third down for Washington State. Kegel this time complete. A gain of 16 yards. The Cougs were 6 of 16 on third down. Nice job. Good execution on that play. Here's another third down. Third and goal. Minich takes it across. And the Cougars now have the lead in this football game, 17 to 16. So 147 to go before the half. You want to get some points here and go into the locker room ahead. We'd like to try. We're going to try and move the football. Nice catch there by Justin Peel. Good throw by Joe. Uh, we've got to find some rhythm and tempo to our offense, so offsides call it, went uh, for not there. We didn't get it, but we get the completion anyway. Nice game there by Tucker, then drive going to stall. Incomplete, looking for Keenan Howery over the middle. Can't hang on, and that's the end of the first half. Cougars lead at 17-16, only 125 yards of total offense for the Ducks, and that's got to be kind of a concern for you, Coach. I mean, especially after the offensive you know, show you put on last week. No question. And at 17-16, I actually was sort of pleased about that because I thought it could have been worse. You know, we had the, the extra point blocked. We were not moving the football. We got the touchdown from the defense, which was super. But we had to, we had to do something half halftime. We had to change the tempo a little bit, and we didn't get to it until the fourth quarter. We'll go to those third quarter highlights right now and uh, see if the Ducks can keep the Cougars off the scoreboard in the third quarter and get themselves back into the lead in this one. Not very fun playing from behind. Ducks haven't had to do it a whole heck of a lot this year. But here they are, Cougars with the ball. Minnick rushes for one yard. Matt Smith there for one of his eight tackles. So on second down, the Ducks are going to decide to bring it. Him. Win, receiver to the left, back to throw, set up, pressure comes, sack back inside of the 15-yard line. Saul Petu with his 10th sack of the year. Saul Patu, great play, just overpowers the guy blocking him, comes in, hog ties the, the quarterback, gets him down. We talked at halftime about keeping our motion out on the field, don't worry about what we did at halftime, do it on the field, and Saul's a great example of doing that. Saul moving up to second on the all-time Oregon list for sacks right there. All right, third down. Kegel going to go to the air and going to come up empty. Should have been picked off probably by Matt Smith there. Matt had a chance. He got one hand. He was surprised a little bit by the ball, but uh, he's always in the right spot. Ducks back with it. Big play to start it out. First down, 40 down the sideline, and bumped out of bounds up the 33-yard line. This was a lead play up inside, and Allen does a great job of reading it. Bounce, he feels no contain, bounces out. Great block on the outside by our tight end to allow him to do that, and then Allen's off to the races. Mo was hurt at halftime, had the in, injured ribs, and we decided not to play him unless we needed him in the second half. Allen just glides. It's very smooth running the ball. Harrington on this play to Josh Line for a gain of 12. This one down to the Washington State 18, and you're moving the ball. Yeah, we have some momentum right now. It's good. Great play action pass here. Perfect throw from Joey. Here on first down, the Ducks go to the air. Harrington complete to Amundsen in the end zone, but the flags are out. Holding on the Ducks. Touchdown taken off the board. Yeah, it was too bad. I, I struggled to find holding on that play, I'll tell you that. And uh, it took away the momentum that we had going. Uh, trying to get something back, and this is a key. They force us out of the pocket. Joey makes a great throw. Unfortunately, Keenan cannot come up with it. All right, so the Ducks are going to try for three points into a stiff win, 42 yards out. Frankel hits it well online, but then it stops. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, Somebody pulled it down with a string. The normal trajectory would have taken that over the bar. Unfortunately, the wind just blew too hard at that point. So the Cougs get it back. This play they ran all day. Nettles for 14. Yeah, we're in a tough boat. They do a nice job play faking. It holds our guy that normally covers that area. Broken play. Kegel gets outside for four. He battled for coming in. Kegel did a great job coming in off. The, he was not a backup quarterback. He made a lot of plays. Now it's fourth down. Washington State going for it. And they were pretty good on fourth down. Three for three on the day. They did a nice job. They ran behind the right side of their line. And Kegel did a great job a couple times on the sneak. After that play, though, the defense tightens up on the drive. Michael Callier with the stop. The Cougars content just to run it and make this quarter quick. They're going to keep the ball on the ground here. Well, you know, they're ahead. I think they, they want to shorten the game as much as they can, and obviously we want to get it back. Ducks do have the ball back. Amundsen, though, not much there. So Harrington going to go up top this time on third down, and here it is, the only third down conversion of the day. Surprising. Yeah, well, very surprising and very uh, disconcerting, to be honest with you. But nice job there. Uh, Joey completing to Keenan for the necessary yardage. Here's another third down after two plays for a loss of one. Tucker 
Just going to get one yard on this play, and the Ducks have to punt it away again. And that's it. At the end of the quarter, the Cougars still lead it. 17 to 16 and a great play by Curtis Door here to make sure that it remains at 17 to 16. Great play by Curtis handles a high snap gets a good punt. He did a great job got better and better as the day went on in terms of punting for distance and accuracy. So that was it. I mean you just shocked how fast the quarter went and you look up the scoreboard and you must be a little uh, you know concerned at this point still down. Well you're always concerned when you're down and the later gets in the game. I talked to our kids and I talked to Joey on the sidelines about we don't have to wait for the fourth quarter but unfortunately we did <laughs> and, and it was a time for us to step up get this thing going. Fourth quarter, and it's uh, already dark in the Palouse. Is it got the space heaters going, trying to keep guys warm on the sideline, and it was tough. I mean, Josh Franklin had his foot over there in front of that heater all day. Well, it, it wasn't 47 degrees. It snowed several <laughs> times during the game, so I don't know what temperature that means, but it was tough. Cougars start the quarter driving on the Ducks. Kegel back to throw, underthrown again, but this play seems to work. <laughs> well, that's a great play. They have, they have good size at the receivers, and that's the most difficult play to cover for a defensive back, no matter what you are. So to the Oregon eight-yard line, from that point, they're content to pound it in. Kegel for four yards, and then on this play, Hawkins for no gain, so you're set up with a fourth down again. Yeah, and, and we were, you know, we had to hold. This is a huge play in the game, and we almost did it. If you can watch again, uh, Kegel going over the right side just puts the ball out there, and we need to be ready to punch that ball out if we see it. We hit him high and low, didn't quite stop. He changed his mind right at the end because it was bottled up in the middle, but he gets it into the end zone. Almost disaster here, Coach. No question. Uh, unfortunately, ball went off Sonny's pads. Luckily, fortunately for him and us, that he came up with the football. It bounced around on there. Uh, uh, God might be a duck. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so the Ducks down eight and try to get some points on the board. And Joey going long with the win, maybe sailed out a little bit. Well, and they holding on the defensive back, which was called. Unfortunately, the very next play, we try again. We know we've got a chance. And they hold again, don't get the call this time, which was very frustrating. Second one was probably worse than the first one, but it's tough for a referee to throw the same flag twice in a row. So Oregon has to punt the ball. And this turns into one of the biggest plays of the game, 60 yards down at the five yard line. Great job by Curtis. He got all of that one. And again, the ball comes to rest down there. We didn't even need to cover it. Great job of coverage though down the field by our Ducks. So now the defense has to stop the Cougars and keep them down there and get that field position back. Minnick going to try the right side and come up with not a thing. Right there, nice play on first down for the Duck defense. Then Cougars going to try the airways. Going for a win here, and they lose instead. Nice play by Steve Smith. Great pressure by Matt Smith and the Smith brothers. Steve Smith defended it down the field. So you start out with great field position, the Cougar 40, the wind at your backs, Amundsen for a couple, and then it's time to go upstairs. For Oregon and Harrington under center is going to throw back sets looks going deep downfield he's got Tucker he's got it touchdown Oregon Marshawn Tucker great protection nice out and up move by Marshawn Tucker great throw by Joey just put it over the top you see him step up in the pocket here nice job and Marshawn separates from his man perfectly thrown pass just got to catch it and walk in the end zone great job so you're within two nine minutes to go need the two-point conversion for the tie double tied in Corey Collins is in Joey under center Howry in motion back to the formation rolling right to throw Joey throwback Howry's wide open he is gonna get it for the two and Oregon is tied it up a lot of choices on this route. It's a flood route onside. We have three guys out in the route, pick and choose. We have one guy cutting back. Joey, great decision, great vision. Keenan does a good job of picking his way back across, wide open for the two-point conversion. So the Ducks have it back tied, 24 apiece, and the defense stepping up. Another three and out for the Cougars. You get it back with six and a half minutes and 95 yards to go, and Allen Robinson gets 11 right away. Great tough running. He, he, first he read the hole, and then he broke the tackle to get the first down. Uh, really nice job by him. So a first down for Oregon. Then Harrington going to go up top to Marshawn Tucker's favorite target. Nine catches, 142 yards for Marshawn. Great day. Great day by him. And he's really stepped up huge the last couple of games. Unfortunately, that's where the drive stops. The Cougars are going to get it back after this play as they uh, good pursuit on third down, short side of the field. And they're going to get the ball back with four and a half to go. So now you're just... You know, trying to make sure that you keep them contained and see if you can get to the overtime. 
Great run by them. Unfortunately, we have a chance to tackle him at the line of scrimmage. He runs right through it, and their minute ran hard all day long. Then the Cougars try their favorite play, a little quick wide receiver pass there, and Ryan Mitchell read this one. Great job. We had a, the coverage is a combination in our coverage. We read it. We we're in the right coverage at the time. It makes a great play. A little scary here. Minute gets free on the delay and finds his way for 28 yards, so they're getting closer to field goal range. But after that point, the Duck defense comes up very big again. Eagle up under his center. The big red shirt freshman has the ball and back to throw. Steps up. Get and drops back to the 46-yard line. On the blitz. Great play. Keith Lewis coming off the edge on the back side. Uh, he's got a choice of coming or not based on their receiver's route release. And he does a great job of just planting Kegel. Ball actually comes out, but Kegel gets it back there, which would have been even more huge. Keith Lewis going to get more playing time as a nickel back? We're trying. We're trying to find ways to get him on the field. So after the punt, the Ducks get it back with one more chance in this game, really. Harrington to Tucker for five yards. And after this play, you think there might be a little life. 19 yards. We're under a minute. And so the Oregon Ducks decide to go to the air again. Now they have a chance to get into field goal range. Of Oregon, Harrington maybe seeing a blitz. Going to go back, pressure comes, it's picked up. He gets out, throws it way downfield. It is caught. Tucker going out of bounds. They give him the grab. They do. They do right in front of the Oregon Ducks. Unbelievable play by Joey and Marshawn. Not very good protection. We get manhandled right there. You can see it, what happens to Allen Amundsen. But a great job by Joe. Setting his feet, throwing back across his body the other way. Perfect job, and the right foot just comes down in bounds first. Great play, just awesome. So the Ducks down to the 48 need another big one. I have a chance in regulation, but this time going for Tucker and just tipped at the last second. Just tipped. Great throw and would have been a great play. Had a step on it. One more try on third down. Going to go for Keenan Howery this time and not quite get it. So here we go again on to overtime, 24 apiece. And Coach, how's your heart doing at this point? Uh, my heart's all right. I'm a little disappointed, but I'm pleased to get the chance simply because we've been behind most of the game. I think that I felt like our success in overtime, uh, Washington State's lack of success, they'd lost two straight earlier this year, I felt would play into our favor. At least I hoped it would. Of course, a lot of the overtime has developed on, on its coin toss, and you didn't win the coin toss today. They had the advantage to start with. Talk to me about what you told your kids when that happened. Well, it doesn't change. We always talk about, we talk about both sides of overtime. Regardless if we get the ball first or second, we want to score a touchdown. If all else fails, we've got to get a field goal, got to get some points on the board, and then we've got to play great defense. So let's do it. Let's go to the overtime now. It's down in the closed end zone, down where the Oregon fans were. That's because Oregon lost the toss, so they were able to decide which end they wanted to go to, and the Ducks said, we want to be with our fans, so they went down there, start with the ball, and uh, Oregon trying to get something done right here. But it's a loss of four yards, and uh, you talk about not getting negative yards in the overtime. Right. Great play by their defensive lineman. Read the screen and went out there and made a great play. So time for a couple throws. Going for it all. Keenan Howery just a little bit overthrown. Tough angle, tough coverage, and we just didn't get it done there. Here incomplete to Allen Amundsen on the screen pass. Had it set up. Couldn't execute it right at the end. So here comes Josh Frankel. This would be a career best, 47 yards away. Good, placement good, kick is up, long enough, and he got it! He hit the field goal from 47, and Oregon's got three and lead. The other reason we selected that in was because that was with the win. But this is a great job for protection, great job of getting the ball down. Uh, Weaver to Harrington, Frankel kicks it through. Great kick would have been good from 50-plus, so awesome job of stepping up when we needed it. How about Josh Frankel? Great to see him back on track. So the Cougars get the ball on offense. Touchdown will win it. Minnick, tough going up the middle right there. And a holding call, so back to the 36-yard line. So nice for your guys. Yeah, big call right there. They tackled Jed Boyce. I don't think that was actually the call, though, but uh, a nice time for it. Kegel incomplete to Williams, so they're getting in a little bit of trouble right here. He's going to go to Minnick on this play, and it doesn't work out for him. Incomplete, almost intercepted. The game would have been over with an interception right now. So they face a big third and 26 from the 41. And we talked about that you're going to run a screen or throw deep, and it's hard to cover both. Uh, they get the screen pass off. We take out some of the interference right there. Nice job by Michael Callier and Rasuli Webster forced to fumble, but they get it back. 39-yarder for the tie. 29, a 39-yard field goal try. Snap good, placement good. The kick is blocked. It's blocked. Oregon has won this football game. You got to be in overtime. Oregon has.
has won the football game. We got great penetration on that right side. Jed Boyce actually got it. Steve Smith gets great, great penetration from the outside. You see the push there from Zach Frieder helping to get Jed in there. Just really, that's the focal point. Great job of getting the hand up, making the play. So the Ducks do it again in overtime. The celebration is on, and the guy is pretty excited about remaining undefeated in Pac-10 play. Washington State, I, I don't know what to, you know, you got to give them a lot of credit. They played their butts off today and scared the scared the pants off us. You know, I, we we're lucky to get out with one today. You know, so, I don't know what it is, but sometimes the bounces the bounces have just been going our way this year, and uh, we played hard and you know got a lucky break there at the end. I just went in there and kicked the ball, same as I've been doing all year. You know, the ball just hasn't been bouncing my way for most of this year, but you know I don't get down on it. A lot of people may have doubted me, but you know when you're 50 percent, you're gonna have people doubt you. So I understand that, and. Uh, it's a big kick. We won the game. They're a good team, um, a lot better than I'm sure a lot of people expected. You know, we we didn't take them lightly. Um, unfortunately, we wish it wasn't so close. But I mean, it's fun. It was a fun game. We came out the win. Yeah, it was a three-step hitch. Um, he he had a different route, I guess, in the beginning, and I was playing off. Um, he checked out of it, and I knew that it was probably going to be a hitch or a slant, so I sat on the route and just happened to be the right guess and uh, got to the house. And we got our team ready to play, and uh, we got hyped up after that, and we handled business and got this victory. Unbelievable. All I could think about was our fans. I just wanted to go up there and give every one of them a hug. I mean, just, I don't know, it's just, it's hard for us players to be in this situation every week, overtime games, you know, it puts a lot of stress on us, but I know it is the fans, too. And I felt it, man. I just can't, I, I can't, you know, explain the feeling I had. It's great. Till next week, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on Oregon Football with Mike Bellotti.